So, weiter geht's. Bisschen Action wäre jetzt aber ganz gut hier. Was will denn die Sarah? Das sollte noch rausgehen. Kommst du da oder kommst du mit oder wieder was? Good day, Captain. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Aha. Bring me anything useful? Oh, it's fine. Go ahead. Als Maus quetschen. Hat sie sicher nicht. Considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they. Re By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center, having been out there. In the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my I'm sorry so it disappoints you. But don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend Was for beliefs. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said. I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no. I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Very well. Next time, then. So long. Nee, hey, komm mit, hilf mal tragen. Den ganzen Shit, den ich euch geklaut habe. It's you and me from here. If you have any gear, you want. Perfekt. Until later. Danke sehr. Then I realize my tank sprung a leak. I'm stuck. And the only place close enough to land. You're not suggesting. Ptolemon II, Terramorph Heaven. So, I sat down, grab the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Boom. If that had actually happened, you wouldn't be standing here. No lie. Hell, you're welcome to go ask around the marine outposts I stumbled into. You're the only reason I'm still breathing. I <laughs> set foot on that death trap. 
I think I'll just take your word for it. Interested in having some close calls to call your very own? Commander Tuala over in Mast will be happy to sign you up for the Vanguard. Ziemlich cool, wenn man die Mission bekommt. Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies <coughs> volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Yeah, man. Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Can't do well. In. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy get-up of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. The system will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. Something wrong with the exam? Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. From here, the three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions hmm. in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable. Most people will prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. Oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. 
That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul System is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. The process starts with registration down in the orientation hall. Or did you have a question? Me? Six? Seven years now? Was a recon squad commander in a former life. So it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. Sure thing. What do you want to know? For the exam, we'll be putting you through a combat flight simulation. Let us see your piloting skills, evaluate how you behave under pressure, all without any risk of you inadvertently getting blown out an airlock. For the probationary mission, though, we'll be sending you out on the job all on your own. The specifics of the mission vary by what's available at the time, but we're not about to ask you to storm a Crimson Fleet base or whatever. At least, <laughs> not on mission one. More likely, you'll be making a drop-off to some UC citizens in an area that's outside normal naval patrols. There'll be a risk of hostile contacts, but that's far from guaranteed. That's my year. Sign up. Or upsign, or what does that Sollten wir vielleicht doch einen Outpost auf Jamison hier bauen. Von der 
nation. The United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. <laughs> so in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Maroon, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Here. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me toying. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House of Aru first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war, the Serpent's Crusade. Fertig? Danke. The Free Star Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of Aquila banded together with the pleasure city of Neon in mutual defense. But in 2194, after the deployment of a UC medical star station in orbit around their world, the citizens of Narion also requested to join the collective. The resulting rise in tensions between the Free Star Collective and UC culminated in the settled system's first intergalactic conflict. The Narion War. Despite a decisive victory by the UC, the colonies permitted the citizens of Narion to join the collective, forming the basis for the. Fiercely independent union that persists to this day. In 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their Serpent God. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refuse to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, the goal of all space. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Narion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective utilized 
utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. The colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably ruined the settled systems. <sighs> there were times I felt that it would never end. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swarms of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nira remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. Oh, don't let me get in your way. I've seen all this plenty already. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical no supply center for the United the Colonies way. war effort, Londinian found itself overrun like by one of the rain. galaxy's like most no mysterious predators, the Terramorph. Aware of a pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC oh, military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Death boss. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city. The outbreak and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. I'm to apply for the administration track at school, but. I'm going to be a xenobiologist. It's science division or nothing. I can't stop staring at it. A real terramorph. I really hope this is just a phase. Oops. All four of my last science papers have been on terramorphs. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Free Star Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces, and that xeno-weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. United Colonies in the interest of peace and galactic security agreed. In 2311, three United Colonies senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was a strong supporter of the Armistice. All of the terrible weapons that both sides used against one another. It had to end.
sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here in the heart of the land. Just my fees. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colony's standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Good hunting. Nem ott egy kafé mit kolléga. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant. Currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. <laughs> your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
Schwarz. Jetzt. Äh. Ja, dann auch nochmal hier. Bisschen Spaß macht's ja. Lass mal neu starten, oder?
Keine Ahnung, was das ist. Was fehlt doch da? Den Tutorial übersehen oder was? Mann, Mann, Mann. Keine Flares. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. Chance. Vier von sechs passt. Congratulations, Applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. Good showing in there, applicant. Uh -huh.
Ooh. Oh, eine Tasse mitnehmen hier. Security. You're I've got special order. Have it your way. You I can't. Soll das dann gehen? Wie ist die Idee dahinter? Hm. Komisch. Verstehe. Er hat es also gesehen. Gut. Okay, das sieht er nicht. Kaffee. Den habe ich schon. Also danke dir, Digga. Ich habe ab. questions you needed answered first. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. 
So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Yep. Fantastic. Then just follow me. <laughs> hmm. Wow, three years. <lacht> Fieser Laden. Wollen wir mal nachbehandeln. Freundchen. This way. Geht nicht. I like to make sure all my people get a little moment when they sign up. Kurze Pause. So, weiter geht's. right doing this where we couldn't see the skies now raise your right hand the motto of the vanguard is supra et ultra above and beyond that is where we serve beyond the furthest reaches of the united colonies military and with honor and duty above reproach do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the united colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard honor Loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy. Mm. 
Na sicher. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? Not klar. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Talk to you later. Das mache ich aber zuerst. Wasn't expecting to cliff dive today. I'm so excited. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> like I said before, I love my job, but it can be a lot of hard, tiring work. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, I'm going to get a or something. Later. Take care of yourself. Across most of the separate systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the night. Hmm. Man hört den Regen, aber man sieht ihn nicht. Sehr komisch. Ja, hier oben sieht man ihn auf dem Boden. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Get it fixed up and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. 
In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. Bauschlappen. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Yeah. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Hello. Was sagt der Kontostand? 31.000. Da kann man da mal ein bisschen rumschrauben hier in der Kiste. Feinstes Flugwetter auch noch jetzt. Der Mat hat wieder 5000. Mal ein bisschen Shit verkaufen. Sidonia is an industry. Dropping off a few choice items. natürlich. Was? All that junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. Nicht mehr. Hier Kollege. Hey, need some work done? Okay, no problem. So, ship builder B. Das ist eine Warnung, zu wenig Motoren. Add Engines, was kostet denn so eine Engine? G, Shields Reactors. Da. Viel zu teuer der Shit hier. Was hat der denn an Leistung? Tausendachthundert den gleichen Preis.
Wow. Und davon zwei montieren muss. Mal testen. ganz gut aus. Bam! Hier noch mehr Engines oder wie? Hm. Ja, dann noch mal ein hier. Zack. Erst mal ein bisschen Geld sammeln und dann nochmal uh, Cancel Modifications. Ja. Und los geht's. Los, einsteigen. Fliegt doch! Schon was los hier oben. So, wo müssen wir hin? Ach du Scheiße. Tja, ich sehe, ob die Kiste so weit fliegt. Soll das gehen? Power up grab drive. Ah ja. Oh, was von den Waffen runter an Energie. Ein bisschen was auf den Laser lassen. Und alles auf den Grab. Yeah! Zählt die. Sehr cool. Energie wieder auf die Waffen. 
bisschen mehr auf den Antrieb. Ein bisschen was auf Raketen. Lass mal scannen. Rock Gravity ING. Dünne Atmosphäre. Und marginale Fauna und Flora. Und Wasser. Oh, verstehe. Nice. Scanner aus. Und landen. Kommst du mit? Aufstehen. Lass mal Waffen checken. Was haben wir noch? Min. Revolver wäre noch gut. Ja, passt. Favorite. Zack. are roaming this planet. Hmm. Time to find out. Greetings, Captain. Alexa kommt auch mit. Sehr gut. Und regnet schon wieder. Nice. Wenn es hier immer regnet, dann baue ich hier meinen ersten Outpost. Hat was. Woo. Oh, irgendwas stimmt hier nicht. Hier gibt's Eisen. Bei dem Raumschiff ist, glaube ich, die Klappe offen, oder? Ne? Doch. Das hätte ich auch gerne. Aber man kann nicht hoch. Ne. Dann erstmal in die Base. Ups. Der ist in der Dusche gestolpert hier, der Kollege, oder was? Eine Axt, was ist das? Meiner Helm. Und ein toter Siedler. Meatpacking? Ist das eine Metzgerei oder was? Tja, dann gehen wir mal rein. Wow. 
überall Blut. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. Hm. At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. Oh wow, ist ja viel größer als man denkt hier. Kaputtes Raumschiff. Noch eine Leiche. Was hat der? Squall? Sparkling Wine. Damage for 2 minutes plus 20% und Movement Speed. 2 minutes. Gutes Zeug. Ich <lacht> Klappe. Oh, Billardkugeln. Müssen mit. Und was hat denn K? Besteckchen. Das ist festgetackert. Ja, das braucht ja keiner mehr hier. Oh, einen schönen Kaffee hier. Nice. Was haben wir hier? Noch Veganer. Oh, ein Melönchen für mich. Haha! <lacht> das leere Teil hier, falls ich mal pinkeln muss. So. Was haben wir für eine Tasse hier? Ah, schick. Eine Weapon Workbench mal gucken. Ich noch was an die Pistole hier mal dran schrauben können. Nix. Noch zu früh. Muss ich erst noch 50 Tage spielen. Ja, dann mal runter. Also hier hat jemand echt Scheiße eingepackt. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. Hm. Erstmal speichern. Kumi Production Center. Sehr, sehr nice. Ah, da müssen wir schon mitnehmen hier. Also, speak to the woman erstmal. Storage. Da kann ich das scannen. Okay. Leider leer.
Ich schwör mit Corn Roll, äh Corn Rolls hier. Mach mal die Tür auf. Guten Tag. So, what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. <laughs> of course you are. My hero. At least you follow orders well. Maybe you are military. Either way, we can make this work. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. Oh. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. <laughs> Makes two of us. Mm. But this creature, I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample, I need its corpse. Kein Problem. But we're not without resources. This plant, it's got an automated security system. Aha. Uh -huh. So getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? Locker. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Ja, ja. Mach du mal Pause, ist schön Pudding. Und ich kümmere mich. Aber das Tablet nehme ich mit. Oh, Frankenstein. Kann man mal machen hier. Ventilator. Hm. Jawohl, alles mit hier. So, wie sieht's aus mit Handgranaten? Die treffe ich sowieso nicht. Also, Augmentation Mines habe ich schon. Eine Frag Grenade. Kostet das gleiche, wird also was können. Auf die 4 und 5. Und meine Lieblingswurmer. Auf die sechs. Ja, latschen einfach mal hier durch. Erstmal speichern. Eins Komma fünf wiegt der Oschi. Oh, sollte auf dem Rückweg looten vielleicht. Guck mal die Funzel aus. A meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian. Bravo! It's time.
Komm mal einmal alle Türen zu. Mann, Mann, Mann. Geht nicht. So. <lacht> Ein Hamburger. Synthetischem Fleisch. Nice. Oh ne, keine Power. Oh, hast du noch mehr? Okay, wie sie sagt, resetten Security Logs. Equipment Drop Today. Wa wa wa. Wir jetzt zurück zu Hadrian oder was? Wie jetzt? Oh Mann. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hm. Plants turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Mm, nice. Hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. No, oh, Salatchen. Passt. Und? Was sagt die Last? Hab noch. Was hat er? Pack. Das sieht nicht gemütlich aus. Was steht denn hier auf der Taste? Noch eine Mandeltasse. Ja. Diese Tuning hat sie ja gesagt. Lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you could avoid it. The kill lanes. They're set up but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the Terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. You can do this. <laughs> Show it it messed with the wrong shock trooper. So sieht's aus. Oh.
Excellent. Packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to become a vegetarian. I'm not sure what makes its home here, but we should keep our weapons at the ready. Logisch, komm mit dir. Muss eigentlich Alexa. Schnell, schnell, schnell. Kannst ja bleiben, ich hau ab. Ich kann doch nicht. Mann, lock ihn mal raus hier, komm. Komm, du, 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 komm. Ne, ja, nicht hier hoch, aber. Und brauchst du ein Pflaster? <lacht> nice. Stasche Troopers. Da, 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 da. So simple. Hm. Tissues, alles dabei hier. Ja, das soll ich aber einmal schleppen, ja? Auch eine Dusche gestolpert. Zurück zur Lady. Aha. Oh, ein Hammer. Oh, Schraubschlüssel. Mann, Mann, Mann. Werkzeug muss immer zurück an den Platz hier, Vögel. Kann ich überhaupt nicht haben. Ich will alles rum einfach. Sehr gut gespart. Habe ich schon gelootet. Da mal ab zu Hadrian. Guten Tag. 
Kakalaka stored. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or. Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Evans above, you just flatlined a terror morph. <laughs> no offense intended. No, I've just known whole marine squads who couldn't take down a terror morph. To do it yourself? Uh, that's something else. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? How was this, uh... All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of it. Ich das noch nicht eingesteckt habe. Hm, mal gucken. Shop locks. Going 45 hours a day. Nicht schlecht. Oh, und Schraubenschlüssel. Miss Morgan, wo ist denn die Alexa? Spaghetti. Fünfunddreißig. Na, ja, wegen nichts gut. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs, they're different. To our knowledge, no, no one's ever spread with the intention. Yet somehow, they follow us. I'm Koffer. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Hmm. Tal Seti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in sure. the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business das kann sein. that seems awfully implausible which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth the results of which could be catastrophic terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one ja, hol nicht rum, ich habe alle Alien-Filme gesehen, die ballern wir weg. Easy. Hm. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah. Yeah, I'd do it myself, but yeah, I yeah. need to call in some favors. See if I can. Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Oh. Clear it with your boss or commander or whoever it is that actually. You can even show them this a gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan thinks there could be more attacks on the horizon. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll recognize the name. Tja, wir können ihn doch einfach anrufen. 
Ah, oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what... I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. Ooh, Mars, nice. There's a nice. place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. Ha! And da muss ich so sehen. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars at least. Now please, go do what you have to do to get that sample in the right hands. We need to know what we're dealing with. Wow, 800 credits. Nice. Ich würde ja gerne sagen, nee, nee, behalt, aber... Nein, und den Safe knacken wir auch noch, komm. Expert, shit. Nicht ärgerlich. Zwei Punkte. So, wo ist denn hier? Tech. Piloting, Security, Tracking, hier. Advanced Locks, two auto attempts can be... Can be banked, okay. Okay, was müssen wir machen? Pick five locks. Puh, das klingt alles zu, zu cool. Ein bisschen ballern wäre auch gut. Ne. Shotguns mag ich nicht. Hier nochmal gucken. 10 von 10. That's another level of zoom. 30 meters. Komm, als Explorer ist das ein guter Anfang. Gib mir Locks. Was ist das denn? Was ist da hinten? Funnel. Hm. Feinster Container. Ich dachte, das ist vielleicht bei E-Bikes drin oder so. Leider. Musst du wieder schleppen hier. Das sollte nicht Mist heißen, sondern Mist. gestohlen shit auch noch okay was ist so schwer all sort by weight ah, ja. mhm, mh, mh. Ich muss ich auch fliegen können mit dem Jetpack. Das wir mal angucken. Goodbye. Ich meine Rüstung an. Schnell mal schauen. Zack. 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 Airborne. Fünf. Ich hab doch neun bekommen, dachte ich. Keine Ahnung.
Hey, Kollege. Das Alien ist weg, kannst ausstellen. Sehr, sehr geiles Spiel. Jawohl, aber erstmal eine Pause. Ist sicher schon gelootet, oder? Da muss ich nochmal schnell schauen. Ein Boostback. Was zur Hölle soll das sein? So ein Schlauch dran, wenn man Limo trinken kann oder was. Okay. Liebe Miss Morgan, ich muss jetzt leider Pause machen, weil ich gehe ins Kino Mac 2 gucken. <lacht> Bis nachher. <lacht>